Hi, welcome to another video by Plop Info. Do you know who created the idea of education? Education is defined as the process of facilitating learning or acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, morals, beliefs and habits. Different methods of imparting education include training, teaching, storytelling, discussion and directed research. Ever wondered who created the idea of education? While Horace Mann, an American educational reformer is credited with creating the foundation of our modern public education system during the early 19th century. In the biological history of human species, schools are very recent institutions. The proof of the origins of education can be traced back to the very early stages of human development. For hundreds of thousands of years, before the advent of agriculture, humans lived as hunter-gatherers. Children in hunter-gatherer cultures learned what they needed to know through their own play and exploration. The strong drives in children to play and explore presumably came about to serve the needs of education. Adults recognize that those activities are children's natural ways of learning and encourage them. Formal education however started in different parts of the world almost on similar timelines. The earliest formal school was developed in Egypt's Middle Kingdom in 2061-2010 BC during the regime of ancient Egyptian ruler Menchuhotep II. Only the royals and the sons of rich professionals like scribes, physicians, temple administrators etc. were schooled. While the boys were taught the family trade the girls stayed at home getting trained in housekeeping, cooking and tending to the younger children. In China, the first education system was created in the Xia dynasty during 2076 to 1600 BC. During the Xia dynasty, schools were built to educate aristocrats about rituals, literature and archery. In ancient India from 1500 BC to 600 BC education was mainly imparted through the Vedic and Buddhist education system. The languages used were Sanskrit and Pali. The main aim of education in ancient India was to develop a person's character, master the art of self-control, bring about social awareness, and to conserve and take forward ancient culture. The first schools in ancient Rome arose by the middle of the 4th century BC. These schools were concerned with the basic socialization and rudimentary education of young Roman children. The idea began to spread that childhood should be a time for learning and schools were developed as places of learning. The idea and practice of universal compulsory public education developed gradually in Europe from the early 16th century into the 19th century. In the 21st century, the current cohort of students come from Generation Z and Generation Alpha. These two generations have grown up with advanced technology which their predecessors never had access to. Growing up with this level of technology means growing up with a completely unprecedented amount of information at your fingertips. These kids have access to answers of all their questions with just a click. With all the information available just a quick search away, they can educate themselves on any topic of their liking even without having to leave the comfort of their bedrooms. In this constantly changing canvas of the education industry, the recent COVID outbreak has brought about the most drastic and sudden changes overnight, it has led to most classes going online. Virtual classrooms are the new normal. It only leaves us with a question, what next? What do you think the future of education will be? Would you favor traditional learning over modern technology-driven learning?